Almost 100 years ago, Lady Londonderry created these extraordinary gardens here at Mount Stuart in Northern Ireland. To protect her jewel of a garden, she established a sea plantation down on the shores of the loch. Frost was a rarity, and in the garden's sheltered microclimate, exotic plants and trees flourished. John, we're standing here in what um, to me are some of the most beautiful gardens I've seen anywhere in the world. They're a picture of tranquility and of permanence, but they're not that permanent, are they? Unfortunately not. Um, the special nature of this landscape means that we can grow things uh, this far north that are just uh, exceptional. Um, but ultimately, sea level rise is going to cause us major problems here. Um, the salinity of the groundwater in particular is what is really putting, putting these gardens at uh, risk. What's the geography of these gardens? The gardens at Mount Stewart are actually built on uh, a raised beach that was formed during the last ice age. And drainage is an enormous challenge for us. So uh, the way this garden works actually, the water drains through into the sea plantation, which is between where we're now standing at Strangford Lock, and uh, at low tides, a huge holding tank, a canal effectively, drains into Strangford. In Ireland, we're fairly used to lots of rain, but even we are finding that the way the rain is coming down, actually, it tends to be much more severe. So with higher tides and much more rain, the water has nowhere left to go, and we're seeing these gardens starting to flood already. So the gardens are between the salt water of the loch and the fresh water running down the high ground behind the house. And we're feeling really squeezed between sort of two huge bodies of water, unfortunately. We're standing here in the Italianate gardens, but what will these gardens look like by the end of the century? Very, very different, actually. The planting scheme that uh, you see today will not uh, exist. Uh, we're currently looking at uh, saline intolerant plants that uh, may continue this garden on for some more years, but um, we could be up to our knees in water, actually, by, by uh, that point. Right here? Absolutely. How will coastal change affect access to the gardens? If sea level rise is as uh, uh, high as we predict it's going to be, the road may very well come under threat. And one of the um, things that we've just recently done is secure a further 900 acres behind Mount Stuart House and Gardens so that we still have access, no matter what happens to Stryford Lock and the uh, roadway. John, what's your vision for Mount Stuart? My vision is that Mount Stuart continues to be the magical and enchanting place that, that it, it is, no matter whether these gardens are uh, what people come to enjoy and experience, we very much want to adapt what we have here now actually, to change and to, uh, and to flex with the challenges that the lock and sea level rise are actually presenting us with and create something that still attracts people and excites them to come here.